Hi everyone, welcome back to SAT 021. In this lesson, we are going to talk about isolation of variables. So isolating variables is similar to solving equations. We can derive formula for a specific variable from a given formula. The basic rule to isolate a variable is to perform the same operation on both sides of the equation until the asked quantity is isolated. So we may use two practices to demonstrate the whole process. So practice one, we know that the formula to find the volume of a cylinder is V equals pi R squared times H, where R represents the radius, H represents the height, and V represents the volume. Which one of the following is a correct expression for the radius R? So we have four choices here and we have to isolate the radius r. So the first step, we can divide pi h for both sides. And for the right-hand side, the pi and h canceled. So we got v over pi h equals r squared. And then the second step, take the square root for both sides. And for the right-hand side, the square root of r squared is r, because r is a positive number. So r equals the square root of v over pi h. So the correct answer is c. Let's move on to another practice. If a times m to the power of negative 1 over 3 equals k, what is m in terms of a and k? So now we have to isolate the m. The first step, we have to div divide a for both sides. So for the left-hand side, the a canceled. So m to the power of negative 1 over 3 equals k over a. And the second step, we have to take both sides of the equation to a negative third power. So m to the power of negative 1 over 3 and then to the power of negative 3 is m itself. So m equals a over k to the power of negative 3. And then we may use the reciprocal to make the exponent positive. So m equals k over a to the power of 3. So the correct answer is c. And that's the end for this lesson. So for the next lesson, we are going to talk about the inverse function, and we will use isolation of variables there. So Thank you for watching and goodbye.